Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Two things from the last day in FC24 really have me scratching my head and saying, what is EA thinking right now with the content on this game? One is because of SBCs, and two is because of evolutions, and it's really bringing the continued frustration out of all of us with the aspects of footies that we just feel like are lacking. So I want to talk about that again in today's video. And of course, it is a Wednesday. So we need to get prepared with a little investment opportunity on, you guessed it, team of the season cards again, because SBCs are refreshing and that means prices are going to drop because cards are going to get supplied. But what other content could we have today to spice things up? We'll cover that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content, starting with probably the best SBC of the day. It was our Tuesday game. Gamble Pack SBC, the 94 plus this time. One of four. They added that extra slot in there. I think it was a one of three last time. A one of four, which is nice. And they added Footy's team to in this. The 94 plus pick. It was an 88 and an 89 rated squad with one team of the season player required. Guys, again, we like this because it's easy to do. It is cheap to do. And the ceiling on this is actually really high and what i mean by the ceiling is you could pack 15 million extinct mbappe real madrid card um you could pack de bruyne you could pack bellingham of course the footies cards that are out you could pack 99 hansen 99 puteas like technically they're packable from this will you see them often the answer to that is no you will not see them very often but there were people yesterday in the stream that said they packed Rolfo. We packed a Goretzka on stream. Some of those packs are in the YouTube video on the second channel. If you want to check that out, I'll link that above right here. There were some fun ones for sure, but most of them were pretty average. There was a lot of the greats of the game, um, not even greats of the game. There's a lot of team at tournaments, a lot of make your marks that were lower rated inside of that. But again, it's cheap, kind of the best SBC we look forward to every Tuesday just because it has a high ceiling and it is pretty cheap. Again, the price on that is 136,000 coins or basically free SBC. We save every single day because of the craft on this game, the 84 times tens and all of that good stuff. Now that's that SBC. Let's talk about the other SBC. And this is one of the first points I want to have a little bit of a discussion about today because this SBC right here, there was a leak for a Belgium player SBC before content yesterday. We'll start here, right? There was a leak for a Belgium player SBC and we all got our hopes up for company because a company SBC, can you imagine if they dropped a company card on this game right now that was like 97 or 98 rated that was 90 something pace, 98 defending, 95 physical, four play style pluses, like you know, really expensive SBC, like that would actually go into our teams, right? Well, instead, we had a Belgium Openda coming the day after we just had a striker in Timo Werner that a lot of people did. That was the thing that didn't make sense to me. Like, why? Why are we getting a striker who's worse than Timo Werner in game and statistically and everything else? He's not five star, five star. I mean, the stat wise, again, you compare him to Timo, he's worse. A lot of people have just done Butragueno, not to mention we had Kanu, we have had Sorloth, we've had Kaka, we've had so many attacks in the past week and I feel bad like you know talking bad about this SBC too much because again it is cheap this open the SBC is only 93,000 coins so in that regard it is fun cheap content that if you're a Leipzig fan or if you're a Belgian I'm sorry that I'm mad at this SBC it's not I'm mad at Openda or I'm mad at the card that you're enjoying I'm upset at the fact that like this is the same trend of stuff that we have just been getting for the last two weeks now of footies apart from a couple of SBCs and um, man we just we just again it's just the same point we need the absolute bangers because we've just had so many mid cards and yes our clubs are filling up with footies players you could probably do every single SBC here of the players I'm just skipping them and doing exchanges and all the other upgrade packs because those are more fun than the players to be completely honest um so it just reinforces the same thing. These cards don't move the needle. That's kind of a reference that some of the people in the stream have been liking to say because it just doesn't, that's not a card that you really want to use in your team unless you're just going to do it for fun. We want something worth it grinding for. I hate to say it again, man, but that's the same thing, the same feeling that we keep coming back to. But one thing I do want to say is though, this is actually very similar to last year. I know we've mentioned this before as well, but going back to last year in FIFA 23 footies, especially with the change of putting footy, footies cards in packs and it not being only an SBC and objective based promo, you saw the same thing last year. We had a lot of these cheap and kind of mid SBCs. Remember this Cherokee card? Not a lot of people liked it. He was cheap. He was on the 150,000 coins. Remember this Chicharito card? He was um, kind of downvoted as well, only 55,000 coins. We had Ibrahim Sangare as, as a Tots card. And then, sorry, not a Tots, as a footies. But then, you, of course, you kind of move back on 
down the line, you see that it did get better, but there still were some mid ones. Angel Gomez, Quinton Timber. Then we had the Zidane, right? We had the greats of the game cards come out. I think I skipped past Ronaldinho. He was in here somewhere. Wayne Rooney, we had those in there too. But even last year, it felt like as we got further into footies, we had more and more of those kind of like banger SBCs. Del Piero, cover star icon, right? We're going through a few more of these players, a couple more mid ones here. Frem Pong, Altan Kara. You had Kefrem Taram, who is cheap, but also just a very high player. We had a Mudrick card that was pretty big last year. We had the Erling Holland 99 that was massive. We had a Mateus, right? We got more of those bigger name players as we started to go throughout. And then, of course, at the end, right, we had the footies 99, um, Messi and Ronaldo that were in SBCs and even the Mbappe at the end. So this the, the trend is, it's similar to last year, is it, it kind of starts off slow. And then once EA keep releasing more and more and more of these footies cards, then it really starts to turn the corner into like crazy insane SBCs and crazy insane cards. But I think... A lot of us are just yearning for that opportunity now because we're even tired. The grind on the menus has been so good, but without a whole lot to craft and a lot to go into our team, unless it's just a fun card that you want to try, just feels like we need another big time player like a Buchoguño, but maybe a regular player, not an icon, just again, something big, something worth grinding for. So I guess the, the thing we can say is, Hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. And at least we have the opportunity right now to enjoy some of these fun footies cards. And be honest, I haven't been doing all the player species because there's a champs objective for a team of the season and for festival of football cards, which I just finished up getting 10 wins in champs. We'll talk about it today on stream, how that went down. It was not that hard, actually. Kind of had a good run here in the middle. We started off pretty slow, but we ended up going 11 and 6. It gifted a couple of wins. And I'm going to not, you know, gift another win just yet. So after the video, I will. So the rewards are there for tomorrow. But um, got my 10 wins with the Tots team, which was pretty nice. But I'm not using those footies cards at the moment, especially because my rivals games for the week are done and I finished the cup. So I'm more so just kind of like not having an outlet to use my cards uh, that are footies at the moment, which is making me not want to do the player SBC. So that's maybe just a personal thing. I'm sure some of you guys are playing rivals today, or maybe a lot of you already have your rivals wins done because of the uh, glitch that happened earlier on in the weekend and the three own goal situation. A lot of people are playing rivals then. So that's the big thing with the SBCs yesterday. We're disappointed. That's topic number one. Topic number two that's disappointing us and really asking the question of what is EA thinking? Is this right here. Guys, remember the Founders Evolutions? A lot of us who pre-order the game, we loved these at the beginning of the game because it gave you an Evo straight away that most people did not have access to, and then you were able to upgrade it later on during the year. But after the first evolution, guys, honestly, after this first Evo of the Founders Evo, the first one that was free during early access, this concept went downhill. And yesterday was another example of this concept being cool in the beginning and then throughout the year just not living up to the hype that it really could have. I think this whole Founders Evolution thing was kind of a lost cause by the second time they released like a Founders Upgrade and the Founders Evo 2 because a lot of you are probably experiencing the same thing now with this evolution here that I'm seeing. I can't even upgrade a player from my club because the players that I put my Founders Evos into, I ended up putting into other evolutions because the upgrades for the Founders Evo specific cards did not come out often enough or the boosts were not good enough. It's more so the often aspect of that. Like, think about it. How many how many Evos did we have? I'm pretty sure we had the regular Founders Evo with the Founders upgrade and then we had Founders 2 where you could put another card in and create another Founders item. And now we have this. So we've had four Founders evolutions throughout the whole entire year. The whole entire year. And the whole point of the Founders Evo was to do it in the beginning, upgrade it, and then have another upgrade here now at the end, I guess. And they did tell us to keep it to Founders Evolutions and not to put your card into other Evos. They mentioned something along those lines. But, I mean, for a lot of us, we just saw a better upgrade for the player that we already have as a Founders. Let me go do that, right? And so a lot of us can't even put players into this. For me, it was a card I didn't finish in Evo. I did Alvarez. This was the evolution that I did literally at the beginning of the year. Not that Alvarez. Julian Alvarez, not Edson. But um, I just clicked on Edson again. Julian Alvarez, where are we at? Right here, 80 rated Alvarez. It's this Evo card, and I can't even complete him because I didn't complete the Evo. I know, ja, 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 it's funny. I miss on Evos all the time, but he's not the right rarity for it. A complete Founders Evolution, so I can't even do this Evo, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same realm. Other problem with this Evo is it doesn't boost the weak foot or the skill moves or the work rates. Sure, it gives four playstyle pluses, but without a work rate boost, without a weak foot or skill move boost, you're, you're sitting with a card potentially that's three star, four star if you did this Darwin Nunez and still for some reason have it in your club at this stage of the year. Is that really a card that you want to use? 
Not really. So this evolution overall just kind of exposed a massive problem with the whole Founders Evo system. Now I have hopes. I have hopes that for FC25, this could be way better. I do, because maybe they're going to do more Founders Evolutions throughout the year, or if they do one, maybe we can upgrade it more times. That would be the key to unlocking a good Founders Evo progression. But man, yesterday, that one was a head scratcher, just like EA what are we doing? And it just it just kind of adds on top of the disappointment with some of the footies right now. I know a lot of you guys are loving footies at the moment too. We have a really good menu grind with the crafting upgrade and stuff like that. And um, packing all the special cards, it is mad fun. But uh, also at the same time, there's some frustration that we have with it. So we're just hoping for things to pick up and for things to change a little bit here soon with the content. Now, speaking of some more minor detail things, but things that actually are kind of major details, we're talking fodder and things that we need for SBCs guys today is Wednesday which is the big day for our favorite investment of the week team of the seasons they are currently now once again going below 40,000 coins like they do every single day they go from sub 40k up to 45,000 coins but this is the day where they're not going to rise yesterday as we mentioned was the great day to sell your team of the season cards our daily dewsbury hall check as he's my favorite team of the season card to check on just because i think of him as a tots card as a fodder card went from 39,000 coins again spiked up to 47 i know a lot of tots cards were selling at 45k around content if you sold then ggs that was a great time to sell and now they're dipping back down below 40k do not invest in these today they will drop back down again last week the lowest that they went was like 30 Four to 35,000 coins before they started getting bought up. I hope they go lower today. I hope they go lower today because there's more team of the season cards in packs. But the reason that these cards go down today is not because they're getting packed more in packs. It's because the SBC refreshes that is the 90 plus team of the season upgrade. And once again, with all these TOTS cards being 30 to 40,000 coins and this SBC being basically free to do with the 84 times 10s and the player picks and the crafting upgrade that's out there, get this SBC done. It's a free 30K today. Same thing with the 81 plus team of the week tradable. That'll be easy coins for you as well. Both team of the weeks and team of the seasons will be dropping. So we'll be looking for an investment opportunity there today. We'll talk a little bit more at the end of the video about what price to buy at and kind of things to watch for with that. But I do want to also mentioned the 84s and 85s 85s did pretty good yesterday some of them went above like 3.5k after being in the low 2k range so if you bought 85s in the low 2s like Berardi went to 3.9 which is crazy I don't think all 85s did that I think most of them went to like 3.3 to 3.5k whoa Declan Rice to 4.6 notice that some of these cards go higher than others that is something to take advantage of when you are trying to flip this fodder on a quick short-term basis watch what specific 84 and 85 rated move more than the other ones you'll make more coins that's just something to kind of mention right there but you could actually see some fluctuations on 84s and fives today because we're going to get a lot of sbcs refreshing today and guys apart from that part of the market the fodder part of the market there's really not a whole lot to discuss other than that apart from what we mentioned yesterday checking your contract sales I bet the contracts and some of the other consumables in your club will not sell as much today as Weekend League is over. I would wait to sell that stuff until the weekend, once again, just to kind of throw that out there. And the footies cards in general, um, some of them are up a little bit. I think Lewandowski right now is back up. He was like in the low to mid 600s. He's back up a bit. Cantona is still right around, hovering around that 2 million coin mark. A lot of these footies team two players are are still low-ish. I know we're kind of tempted to invest in them, but I think we need to wait still after today, see what comes out, maybe some news and info for the next team of footies cards and packs, and maybe a banger SBC would maybe drop some of the prices of those cards too. So I would wait to invest in any footies team two cards just yet. Just yet, I think we're waiting a little bit longer, but I'm not surprised if their prices would dip down again today on Wednesday with the content it's releasing, and of course, maybe a little tomorrow on Thursday as well. Let's talk about that Wednesday content today. First of all, Wednesdays since the beginning of the team of the season have been guaranteed pack days, right? Remember all those guaranteed TOTS packs that we had on Wednesdays? That was a day they would drop Tuesdays and Wednesdays, really, but Wednesday for the main league. And uh, we've had guaranteed packs come out every single Wednesday since team of the season. That's been the predictable trend of the content. Last week, we had great to the game, team of the tournament or footies team one upgrade. And it was pretty cheap. It was an 84 and an 87 rated with the team of the season. I think this is going to refresh today, just like they refreshed the 94 plus pick and just added in team two. 
they're probably going to refresh this and add footies team one and team two as a part of it. I don't know if they'll drop greats of the game or a team of the tournament, but there are icons packable from this. And this is going to be a decent pack once again to go ahead and try to do today. It'll be pretty cheap and easy to do. So just watch that fodder market once again for sure there. I would imagine it's not going to be anything too crazy, but it will be worth crafting. We'll be opening those on screen today for sure. Also, probably getting another player SPC today, man. I don't remember who we had last Wednesday. It might have been Fakir. It was either Fakir or Loftus Cheek. That was sometime in the middle of the week last week, or maybe it was a dynamic duo. But I would imagine we get another one of those types of SPCs today, man. Like at this point, are we expecting anything crazy? I would say no, especially because once we, again, we know the content in the midweek is just not as good as the content of the weekend. I feel like if we're getting a banger SBC, Friday is our best look for that, just being completely honest. So my expectations for a player SBC today are low, but again, watch out for the leaks because I bet it'll be teased once again pre-content drop by FIFA Trading or Media or one of those guys on Twitter who's going to have some of the leaks. Now, the real big story again, we already touched on it, but the real big story again today is SBCs that are refreshing, like the 90 plus tots, the 81 plus tradable team of the week to buy those today. You'd have a great opportunity to buy a team of the season in the low 30k range on bids in the first probably three to four hours after that SBC drops. That was when you saw the biggest price drops last week. But again, with how many team of the season cards are in packs and the fact that tots cards didn't go as high this week. I'm really hoping that these cards can drop back down to where they did a couple of weeks ago, the low 30K range. Like when these cards two weeks ago were like 29,000 coins, last week they only dropped to 34K at their lowest before going back up to 46K. Really, really hope these can go into the low 30K range. I think they'll go lower this week, even though there's going to be a bunch of people wanting to invest because they will just, again, go up next week as well in price as they keep getting required into SBCs. And the batch two is still going to be in packs. Batch two is not going out of packs, guys. It's going to be the same players in packs. That's something to actually watch for today too is maybe buying team of the season cards who are not in the re-release. I remember last week, this is just one card off the top of my head. If you're actually caring about the market right now or if you want to make a few coins or just want some different cards to watch out for. Bruno Guimaraes last week when this SBC came out went from 100k down to 50k and where was he the next day? Back to 86,000 coins. Literally 86k. Watch out for some of these live cards, the um, Tots Plus cards, maybe Tots Moments cards as well that actually still carry some value. Um, they could be really good trades. Luis Diaz was another one. Luis Diaz team of the season. You're like, Nate, who wants to use Luis Diaz Tots? He's got a better SPC card, right? Well, that SBC card is no longer available for people who have just joined the game. He went down to like 40,000 coins. He didn't rebound as much though. So maybe you find a couple of players that rebounded pretty good. Besek, yeah, yeah, Besek was another one. He went down to like the low 90K range. Look at him now, 140, right? Here's last week's graph. He went down to 96K. What was he on the next day of Friday, two days later? 136,000 coins where he is right now. Those are the types of players you want to watch for today as well. Not even just the fodder ones. All Todd's players are going to get packed from this, supplied, they're going to drop, and then they're going to rebound back up a little bit if you pick the right one. So that's a lot of yapping about Tots, but definitely keep an eye on that market today. There's big coins there if you put in the little bit of extra effort for that. The big SBC that's refreshing, though, is this one. The 93-plus great to the game, footies, team one, or team two, icon player pick. We love this one on the weekend because it was nice to grind and craft, and we're going to have two more chances added today. This is why I think some of the other parts of the market could drop, right? Footage cards dropped pretty big on Sunday when this came out. I would imagine that same sort of scenario is going to happen again today. Today might even be more hype of a day for this SBC refreshing, the TOTS SBC refreshing, than whatever player SBC comes out, and maybe even the upgrade pack, right? So definitely watch out for that today. Even though there's going to be TOTS requirements in this, I do believe TOTS cards are going to drop. Fodder might have a little bit of a bounce, so if you want to trade there, you can. But that's what I'm expecting for the SBC content today. Now, a couple other things I want to go to objectives really quick here for. And I know the OCD part of me really wants to clear out these 13 objectives, right? But... I'm saving these for right now. You can see I got my 10 wins with the team of the season cards. Marquisio is good. Won my 11th game of Weekend League with the Festival Football team. So we even have a little bit of progress there, which is nice. Um, I want to look at the target. Matt Target came out last Wednesday. This is kind of the play on words, fun, objective player. We're going to get somebody new here, in my opinion, today. There could be a little bit of bonus XP involved here as well. I think there was 500 for Target last week. 
I hope there's another 500 for whoever they drop this week as well. And I don't know when the cup is going away. I forget if the cup expires today or tomorrow. If it expires today, we could be getting a new one. But I think for some reason, the cups were always expiring on Thursday. So I would watch out for that, of course, is too. Um, I'm almost done with the daily play. I'm going to get 500 XP tomorrow or today and then i'll get day five completed tomorrow if i play enough games which i should be able to to get that done to get picket there and then the xp and the packs done there i'm saving again the champs play and the crafting objectives again we're up to 12 we're up to 12 special cards packed in doing 59 of these which i haven't opened there's probably like seven or eight of them sitting in my store right now so seven or eight of these um let's say like 52 52 of these opened and 12 specials so the ratio is slowing down a little bit, but it's kind of fun to keep track of how many specials uh, we can pack from this 77 times 5 grind. But hey, man, I'll be honest, it's getting a little old, just a little, just a little bit old doing the same grind over and over and over, feeling like you don't have a chance to pack the footies cards. Like I packed Bomb Pastor yesterday, which is a nice pull, as I'm going to get a, yet again another Jules Kunde right here. Sorry, Cancelo. Not Jules Kuhn. They, I'm packing those two guys all the time. They're interchangeable in my mind. Just the tradable or the Trailblazers car design. But the footies pack weight is just, it's tough. It is very tough. And that's how it was during Team 1. And that's how it currently is here during Team 2. And it just hurts the motivation to do the craft a little bit as well at the same time. I'm sure you guys can resonate with that a little bit as well. Just to open a couple here and just to see if we get anything good. PTG Zaluski. You know who that is right away, right? You see the um, the Polish. You see the left mid. Boom. All right, we take that though. That's Geese and Fodder. That'll be another squad of Butruguenio done. At least we have that going for us. But again, that's our whole point with the grind right now. We just want something to put that into Maybe some of you guys are already done with Butro Gwanya. You're like, Nate, I don't even have that SBC to do. That's what we're chasing right now in this game. So maybe some last minute Rivals games you get in today. If you're trying to play for those, um, I might be retiring from Rivals for the whole rest of the year, to be completely honest. I'm an 800 skill rating, just got into the Elite Division, want to collect my Elite rewards on Thursday. That'll be awesome to open those up on stream. We have our 11 win rewards today from Champs. We have these Elite rewards tomorrow, so that's fun and dandy. I don't know if I want to sweat in Elite Division for the rest of the year, unless it's to do an Evo or something. I might just try to get my Evos done in Champs playoffs, because that, that counts for the Rivals or Champs objective for those cards. But... That might be, might be me done for Rivals for the year now. Getting close to the end. Get my Elite Rewards one last time and uh, be happy with it, man. I don't know. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about the grind right now. I know a lot of not a lot of people are super pumped. And I don't want to make this video too long to just yap about something that we're not super pumped about at the moment. But we just, it needs to get a little bit better. It does. I mean, hey, the footies grind is still fun. There's still a lot of great stuff out, but it's lacking, right? It's lacking. I think we all know that. And we just need it to be a little bit better. We're close. We're very close, but best of luck today, guys, on opening those packs. We'll be opening some more of them in the stream as well. If you want to come by and check that out, that link's down below in the description. And I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. If you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Have a great Wednesday. See you guys in the stream. It's been Nathan McCann. See you later. Peace out.